Hi everyone, today you'll be watching me climb Mail Chewy. This Munro starts at a lay-by on the A9 and if there is an overflow of cars, there is a lay-by just further up that you can park in. As you can see, the day did start off quite cloudy, but as the day went on, the clouds broke and the sun did start to come out. I do pronounce the Munro wrong in the video, but it is pronounced Mail Chewy. Yeah, today we're doing Mail Chonich. Um, I was going to do the three Munros up north of Darwin Hill. I'll put them here. But because the weather, was, the weather was meant to be really sunny and it's just been cloudy and now it's quite cold and windy. So we've just decided instead of doing a, a nine hour uh, Munro hike to, to get three of them, we'll just do uh, one just because it's so cold. Like I just said in the video, we were going to do a route which took about eight to nine hours, but I was feeling really rubbish. So it, this is this was last minute to go and do this one. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad that we did because of this moment. That's just the way to come up just now. And as you'll be able to see, I was so happy about it. Okay, for the first time ever going up the Munro's, I was, I was finally recognised. Dan Munro is now a celebrity. Uh, yeah, I got recognised by a lovely family, they were really nice. So, really chuffed for that and feel a lot better now. <laughs> Getting recognised really lifted my mood because I was feeling rubbish so it got me through the rest of the hike. Just moments like that really make me enjoy doing these videos because at least I know it's actually given back to the community because he said he watched all my videos and he said that they all really helped him and it felt really nice to know that my videos were actually helping people. I'd like to also add that Meal Chewy is, is actually very well signposted for Monroe. Most Monroes don't have anything but this one has quite a few posts telling you which directions to go. But the Munro you can see in the distance is Meal Chuich and that is the Munro we're doing today. The top bit you can see just now is around two thirds of the actual Munro height. The rest of it is just behind it where you can't see it just now. And you can now see that the sun was slowly starting to break through the clouds. And here is us now just at the lock. It did take us one hour to get to the lock where we are just now. There is a path you can take to go down to the loch, but we just continued with the walk and went right. The whole walk, you'll see parts of the hydro dam that they have here. And if I had a gun to my head and someone told me to pick my favourite renewable energy, it would definitely be hydroelectricity. So it ended up taking us exactly one hour to get to the loch, just at the bottom of the Monroe. So it took us uh, an hour to get to the bottom of the loch, and for not having any green or shrubbery, it is actually a really nice walk. So there is a fork in the road here, we're going to go take a shortcut so it looks like it'll be fine, but the actual path was just over that way. And so it took the shortcut, it was successful, um, I imagine if, if there had been quite a lot of rain it would have been really boggy, it was a little bit boggy but it, w it was fine because it hadn't been raining. But the views at the top will be as good as you're going to get, just because it, it was a clear sky. It is quite a flat top, so you, you can't see the large expanse of the landscape, but it, it was still pretty good views. And the wind reduction foam that I recently bought definitely works, and it works really well, because anyone that's been with me a while and has watched all my videos will know how bad some of the wind gets on some of the videos so it, yeah it has helped a lot so you can actually hear some audio when I'm up at the uh, tops of the Monroes. The top that you can see ahead of me right now that is the top that you could see when you were at the bottom of the Monroe and then the bit to the right that's coming on the screen now that's all that you've got left to do. But this last top bit is covered from the bulk of the mountain when you're down the bottom. Yeah, near the very top of the Monroe, it is a bit rocky and there's not much path, but yeah, it's very easy to navigate. So we're just coming to the top of the Monroe now, just after the sharp incline that you've had near the top. But the rest of the walk is flat till you get to the cairn and every single time you do a Monroe and you see a cairn, it just feels so good knowing that you've only got another two minutes left and you've basically done the Monroe. And make sure you stick around till the end so you can find out how long it took us to get back down.
So that's us got to the top in two hours and 55 minutes. I'm feeling really unwell today, so definitely much slower than usual. Got a sore foot, but uh, it was a hard, hard one mentally just because I was feeling so, so shit. But yeah, right, we'll see you back at the bottom. So we're finally down. It took us one hour and 21 minutes to get back to the loch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we finally finished the route in five hours and 13 minutes, but I, I felt so sick and just so tired all day. So I think most people who are pretty healthy would be able to get it in under five hours, I'd think. So the start location for Meal Tree is a lay-by off the A9. It's a total distance of 11.2 kilometers with a total ascent of 610 meters. This Munro should take you less than 5 hours to do it, so it should just be a quick one. But, uh, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.